All right, true crime lovers and drama addicts, buckle up because we're diving into one of the most twisted, gripping, and darkly hilarious shows on Peacock. Yes, I'm talking about based on a true story season two. If you thought season one was wild, wait till you hear what went down this time around. This is the kind of show that makes you question your morals and maybe even your podcast choices, trust me. It's that good. Let's rewind for a second. Season one, Ava and Nathan, played brilliantly by Kaylee Cuoco and Chris Messina, stumbled upon the identity of the infamous West Side Ripper Matt, who was brought to life by Tom Bateman. Instead of, you know, doing the normal thing and calling the cops, they pitched him an idea that only this show could make believable. Hey, Mr. Serial Killer, how about you stop murdering people and come talk about it on our podcast? Ian, just like that, chaos, hilarity, and absolute carnage ensued. Season one left us on the edge of our seats. The couple's dream of true crime fame crumbled under public outrage, and Matt decided to handle the spotlight himself. I mean... What could possibly go wrong when a serial killer becomes a content creator? Right. And now, season two. Oh boy. Where do I even start? Let me tell you, the wait was worth it. Critics have already crowned it a success, with a jaw-dropping 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's right, 100%. It's rare. It's glorious. And it's got everyone talking. Okay. Maybe a perfect score feels a tad generous nobody's perfect, right? But what, based on a true story season two nailed, is the dark, twisted chemistry between its characters and that gut punch of an ending. Critics might have nitpicked a little about tonal shifts, but by the finale, oh, it totally delivers. Now, the trailers gave us a lottie to chew on. There's that chilling teaser of Matt burying a body while everyone, yes, even Ava's sister Tori looks on like it's just another Tuesday. And Tori, she's engaged to Matt now. Yep. You heard me. Engaged. Two. They. Serial. Killer. Someone get this woman a reality check. Stat. As if dealing with Matt wasn't enough. Ava and Nathan are struggling to keep up with their new roles as parents, sleep-deprived, suspicious, and still recovering from their season one missteps. They're a mess. And can we blame them? Their brother-in-law is the West Side Ripper. Talk about family drama. But things get even darker. A new string of killings shakes the West Side, and Matt swears he's not involved. Reformed killer, he says. But Ava, uh, she's not buying it. She goes to extreme. And I mean extreme. Lengths to uncover the truth. Attention? Palpable. Stakes? Higher than ever. And that ending? Oh my gosh. That ending. Ava and Nathan find themselves deeper in trouble than ever before. Just when you think things can't get worse, they do. Finale leaves you questioning everything and sets the stage perfectly for fingers crossed to season three. Because let's face it, we need more. What I love about this show is how it blends comedy with edge of your seat suspense. It's twisted, it's clever. And it makes you laugh at the most inappropriate moments. And the cast, absolutely phenomenal. Ailey Cuoco as Ava is every bit as dynamic as you'd hope. And Tom Bateman brings this terrifying charm to Matt that's just unsettlingly good. Let's talk cast real quick. Ailey Cuoco and Chris Messina are back, owning every scene. Tom Bateman returns as the chilling yet oddly charismatic Matt. And let's not forget Liana Liberato as Tori this season. She's got her own tangled web of secrets to unravel. Watching these characters clash, Connect and sometimes conspire is what keeps us hooked. Now, let's talk theories. With a cliffhanger like that, what could season three bring? Will Ava and Nathan finally face justice? Will Matt actually stick to his reformed killer claim? And Tori, what's her next move? Honestly, the possibilities are endless, and I cannot wait to see where this wild ride takes us next. So, if you haven't binged based on a true story season two yet, what are you even doing? This show has everything dark humor, suspense, and a killer literally storyline. Pop a comment below with your favorite moments or wildest theories for season three. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more juicy breakdowns, and as always, stay curious and a little twisted.